What up, my homies? Got a little bait dissection for you, a bait hack, and then a call for help because I need some help in sort of completing this mod because I think it's conceptually sound and it's going to help us, but at the same time, I don't have it perfect. So let me tell you the story and then we'll kind of move forward through what the hack is, how I'm doing it, and how I need some help in tweaking it. I've been fishing a lot of like big fluke style baits, uh, stuff like this. This is the fish arrow. Um, I've been using the Sakamata shad, basically magnum style flukes. And I've been getting some big bites doing it, kind of oversizing my bait. I like to call them dongs. I've been fishing dong style baits. Um, and basically I was out fishing. I caught like a, a five and a half pounder dude on this guy right here on the fish arrow. And I'm like, awesome. The problem was, is the bait got screwed up. So I'm like, you know what? Let me throw this thing on my little ball head and see if I can get the same reaction with a, a lower price point soft plastic, but it's still that big dong style body, right? So I strap that thing on, I slang it out there. I'm going doo -doo 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 -doo, and looking at it on my active target too. And I'm like, dude, I can barely see this thing. Like the fish arrow was showing up like this bright light. Like I could see it, I could track it. I put that regular fluke on there, that Magnum fluke. It's still the same size body plastic, but I can't see it very well on forward facing. So I'm like, there's something happening here. What is it? So what I did is I took one of my used fish arrows. So this guy right here, and I was looking at it and I'm like, there's something inside there. So there's a little slot right here and I went and took my knife and just kind of cut it up. I know this is blasphemy, cutting up like a super expensive bait, but I put a little cut into that slot and started digging around in there and ended up finding there is a piece of foil or a piece of metal embedded inside, and it's pliable, but it's embedded inside that fish arrow fluke style bait. And I'm like, ding, you know, th this is what's going on. That, that sort of foil or that metal is causing a greater reflectivity to the bait when it comes to forward facing sonar and pinging it and bouncing it off. And so I checked another one and I checked the seven inch. That was the six inch, checked the seven inch and lo and behold, there it is. So I'm like, okay, how do I mimic this? How do I duplicate this in a lower price point bait and maybe even apply it to other different baits so that I can, I can get this kind of return on my active target too. So I'll show you what the outcome is and I'll kind of walk you through the process and some of the steps that I've tried. And this is where I need your help to give some, some different approaches to doing this because the way I've done it is not perfect. I'll be the first one to say it. It's not holding as well as I would like and it's not as efficient as I would like. So we got a Magna Fluke right here. What I did is took a small piece of foil and put it into that cavity that all these flukes have. And I used just your standard mend it you know just that plastic repair goo it has a little kind of like nail um, the nail polish brush on it you paint it on in there and then you squeeze it together let it set for like i don't know four minutes five minutes the other thing that i tried is i tried doing this with a lighter so i took a lighter and basically tried to melt that cavity right there and then seam it together and bring it together because a lot of these plastic cells all these plastics are basically melted you heat them up and then they form up as they cool I did not have as much success with that. Um, basically what would happen is it wouldn't stick together, it would actually cause that cavity to sort of open up more and it would not rebond very well together. Not to mention the fact that I burned my fingers and I'm just thinking about being out on the lake, the wind's blowing, you know, I'm trying to like burn and like melt some plastic and stuff. It's not a super efficient or a super viable way to do this. So the process I ended up kind of using to do this is pretty straightforward but like i said it needs some tweaks basically i would take this magnum fluke this is your your super fluke magnum fluke right there i'm going to take a knife and i'm going to expand the cavity be very careful because you don't want to go all the way through you're just trying to basically open up that cavity so that you have a little more room a little more space to work with then what I did is I grabbed, you know, just from the house, some standard aluminum foil. Um, it's pliable. It's not going to like stiffen the bait in any way. And then I made a small cut, just like the one that we found in the fish arrow and took um, just like a little, a little strip of it and then folded it together to give it some some semi stiffness so it was a little easier to work with. The one thing I noticed is it can't be too wide. Like you have to keep it kind of. I don't know, pretty slight. It can't be super wide. 
And then what I did is <clears throat> basically took this mend it. Um, like I said, it has a little brush applicator and opened her up and did a little bit of an application inside the fluke right here. Uh, just basically brushing it in, uh, getting some of that stuff kind of good up inside there. Um, basically where I'm going to put that foil. Uh, this stuff takes, like I said, three or four minutes to set, so I have a little bit of time. Once I do that, then I'm taking the piece of foil and I'm inserting it into that cavity, just like that, pushing it in as best that I can, and then I'm closing it up and giving it some pressure. If some of it sticks out, that's just fine because you can take a scissors and just clip it right off and you're good to go. This is the annoying part. It'll take like three or four minutes for that to bond. The other problem that I'm having is it's not bonding very well to the foil. So it's you have to make sure you're getting it on the plastic and then sometimes you even have to re reapply a little bit to sort of the edges of the cavity right there and get some so that you can close this up and basically sandwich it. You're, you're making kind of like a, a panini or like a, like a wrap. You're trying to sandwich it around that foil so it encloses that foil and bonds around the foil enough so that when you're making a cast, you're doing your little doodle, ch -ch 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 -ch, it's not dislodging. It's gonna dislodge at some point because it is kind of free floating in there. But that's the basic concept. Um, I'm using the mend it and basically inserting that foil panel in there and what ends up happening, I fished it on the forward facing, is it shows up just as well as these like $12, $13 fish arrow, you know, JDM style fluke baits, dude. And I'm getting an awesome report. I'm still catching fish on it. I'm saving a couple dollars on my soft plastic, but I can see this thing. It shows up like a bright balloon, dude, because that, that, that forward facing sonar is pinging off that metal, that hard object, as well as the ball head that's on there and giving me a much better return on my signal. So that's kind of the mod, um, the little bit of a hack. It's kind of a cool deal. Um, I think it can be applied to other baits. I don't know exactly how. I think there needs to be some tweaks. I don't know if you guys have some recommendations on some different glue or other sort of adhesive um, approaches to use, but that's what I want you to drop down in the comments box. I think the concept is there using the foil, but we need to figure out a better way to sort of lodge it in there and keep it lodged in there when you're casting, when you're doodling it, things along those lines. But I think the application can go not just on flukes. You need to have a pretty big bait to do it, but like for instance, like a glide bait, you know, like lacquering like a piece of foil onto a glide bait to get better report. Things along those lines. It's not just restricted to the soft baits. I think there's something that you can do with some of these hard baits as well to get a little better report. Putting a little foil over a, a chatterbait jig head. Things along those lines. So I need some better ways to adhere it, but that is the concept. Taking fluke fishing, your standard kind of old school fishing, adding a little bit of foil to get a hundred times better report. And obviously a lot of things that we do come from Japan. If the Japanese are doing it with some of these JDM baits like this fish arrow, it's definitely something that's super viable. Let me know what you think. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description box for you to check out, but I need your help. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know some different adhesives that you think might be viable for really sealing this thing in and making it work. <laughs>